Hey, Smoothie Shredders, it's Dr. Goldner checking in, and I wanted to talk about a subject that's been coming up a lot in the group, and that is really baffling for people, not just people who are trying to lose fat or get healthy, but even for healthcare professionals. Thomas and I have both taught this to doctors. Thomas taught grand rounds at Harbor UCLA for family practice residents to teach them about this topic. Uh, I've taught doctors and nurse practitioners and healthcare professionals from all around the world in this topic. And it's a topic that is so important and it gets people so frustrated. And the topic is fat. How to understand what fat does when you eat it, which fats actually help you and which fats hurt you. It is one that baffles many. So here we go. I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you as much as I can in a brief amount of time because I don't want you to, I don't wanna to take too much of your time. We teach this at our live event and I teach a, a, a large segment on it where people really can understand it and come away with a mastery of it. And I'm gonna teach as much as I can to you in a short amount of time so hopefully you can understand it well enough to know what we're doing and to feel comfortable with what's happening in your body. So fats, there's different kinds of fats. So what happens when you eat fat? There's different kinds of fats or oils. I'm going to call them oils. Now, most oils are actually bad for us when we consume them, right? So most oils are, uh, this marker's not working. Let's try this. Most oils have something called omega-6, right? Omega-6 is really bad for us. Omega-6 comes from vegetable oils. Omega-6 has come from vegetable oils and animal fats. And what they do when you consume them, put them in your body, They do what? They cause disease and they cause obesity. I'm doing my best. I'm a doctor. My handwriting's not awesome, but hopefully you can read that. So they cause disease and obesity, which is why you want to avoid them. Yes, when you're trying to lose fat, the last thing you want to do is overload yourself with omega-6. Now, omega-6 is an essential fatty acid, and so a lot of supplements will sell themselves saying, hey, this is essential. It means you need to eat it. That's true, but most people get so much of it because they're either eating animal products that have animal fat in it that have omega-6 or... They're eating things that have vegetable oils like processed food or actually using vegetable oils like soybean oil, canola oil, any kind of vegetable oil you can think of. All of that has omega-6 in it, which is driving disease and obesity, mostly because it's inflammatory. So it causes inflammation directly, which causes disease and causes obesity. So you don't want to eat things that have this. So some people have been using supplements that have omega-3 and 6 and 9. Guess what? You don't want that. You don't want to add more omega-6 to your diet. It's actually going to work against you. Now, another oil that people are bringing up is this one. Coconut oil. Coconut oil is a saturated fat. Now, saturated fat in animal products causes inflammation, just like omega-6, but coconut oil does not cause inflammation, which is good. The problem is what they've done, they've done studies looking at coconut oil because there's a lot of people who sell coconut oil who say it's really good for healing disease and all this stuff. They've done a lot of research on it, and what they've shown is that it's not actually working for healing disease, but what it does do, as well as butter does, is it, increases your cholesterol almost as well as butter does. So you're not doing your body any favors if you're drinking coconut oil. Uh, but when they've tried to use it in studies looking at Alzheimer's disease and other, other diseases, what they found is no benefit. So at worst, you're increasing your cholesterol, which increases your risk of stroke and heart attack. And at best, no benefit at all. So it is not doing you any good to add coconut oil to your smoothies or to your diet. Now, coconut oil is great topically. You can use it to uh, keep mosquitoes away. There was one study that suggested it might be helpful with head lice. Topically, it's great for your skin. It's a great conditioner for your hair. I like to use it in my hair sometimes. But consuming it, there is no proven health benefit, and there's a good possibility that it could actually hurt you. So what about the one fat that Thomas and I suggest you consume in your smoothies? 
The one oil that Thomas and I suggest you use, well, the one fat that Thomas and I suggest you use is omega-3s. And when we talk about omega-3s, we're talking about We're talking about flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. And we chose those three because these three have more omega-3s in them than omega-6 or other fats. So we consider them a source of omega-3s. Other fats do have omega-3 in them, but they might have more omega-6 in them, which makes them not really a source of omega-3s. It's actually increasing your ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, which we don't want. We want to overpower how much omega-6 we have with omega-3s because omega-3s are... Anti-inflammatory. Now, I teach the pathways in detail at our live events, but all you need to know right now is omega-6s are inflammatory. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory, which means they directly fight disease, they fight inflammation, and they actually help you lose weight. So when you're taking large amounts of omega-3s, we're doing it on purpose to overpower how much omega-6s you already have in your diet. And we do that, and you can accelerate healing, healing and fat loss, right? And you increase you increase your metabolism, which means that when you're ready, you can also gain muscle more easily if you're consuming high amounts of omega-3s. This is really, really important. Now, another question that came up was, you know, I, ta I actually talked to one of our smoothie shredders the other day who's a nurse practitioner who went, you know, I calculated how many calories are in a handful of flax seeds. When you're looking at a half a cup of flax seeds, it's more than half of your daily allowance of fat according to the rules somebody made up of how much fat they think you need a day when you're losing fat. The problem is those rules were made up looking at just calories, assuming that everything you eat you burn for energy or you store for fat. How many of you have heard that before, that everything you eat either gets burned for energy if you use it or gets stored for fat if you don't? That is not true. Not every food you eat is used for burning energy or storing fat. The flax seeds, the fat from the flax seeds does not get turned into fat on your butt or fat on your gut if you eat too much of them. The flax seeds actually become the cells in your body. So they do not get burned for energy. The flax seeds actually, they become the cells of your body. They're necessary to become part of the cell membrane of the cells in your body, which actually lets the cells function better and signal better, which means that when you send a signal saying, hey, I wanna heal, or hey, I wanna lose fat, your cells respond better because of the omega-3s that are in the cells. They also become the neurons or cells in your brain, which makes your brain function better, which makes it signal better, which makes you happier and have better memory too. There is no end to the result. So flax seeds, the omega-3s that come from flax seeds and chia and walnuts actually become part of your body, not the fat in your body. They become part of the cells in your body, which actually makes you fitter and stronger. So what we have noticed, and Tom and I have been doing this for years, the more omega-3s we dose people on, the higher the amount of these healthy fats we put people on, the faster they lose fat and the faster they heal. Even at doses that exceed the caloric indications for the day, it works in the opposite way. They actually heal faster and they shed fat faster. So when we created these smoothies, they are specifically designed to help you shred fat and get yourself healthy as rapidly as possible. And that is why the only fat that you wanna be consuming in high levels are flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts, which have omega-3 fatty acids, which are gonna make you as shredded as possible. I hope this helps. I'm glad you shared your time with me. I hope this really helps you start to understand that eating these fats aren't making you fat. Eating other fats are not doing you any good. And hopefully this will help you get more shredded and healthier and happier too. This is Dr. Goldner, your vegan medical doctor. I'll see you smoothie shredders next time.